This video discusses the options in the Stat Tools Utilities dropdown on the Stat Tools ribbon. As in all add ins in the Decision Tools suite, the Utilities dropdown list includes items for unloading the add in or loading other Decision Tools add ins. It also allows you to change application settings. These settings remain in effect on your PC indefinitely, that is, until you decide to change them again. As you can see from the Application Settings dialog box, there are several categories of settings. One particular setting you might want to change is the one shown, the Report Placement. By default, StatTools places report worksheets in a new workbook. If you would rather have it place them in a new worksheet in the same workbook as your data, you can select the Active Workbook option. There are two other possible report placements. The After Last Use column in Active Sheet is usually used to place the report to the right of the data. The Query for Starting Cell option lets you decide where to place the report. Again, if you change this, the setting will remain in effect until you change it back. Actually, you are likely to change this report placement setting and possibly other application settings more often in Stat Tools than you do in the other Decision Tools add-ins. Therefore, all of the Stat Tools analysis dialog boxes have a handy double check box that takes you directly to the application settings dialog box. This one right here. If you change any of the application settings, and then you want to restore the original default settings, this is easy. You just click the Save icon on the bottom left and select Reset. The other options in the Utilities drop-down list are straightforward. The Delete Datasets item removes all datasets from the StatTools Datasets collection for the Active Workbook. This also removes the dataset formatting and the range names for the variables in the datasets. I won't actually do it here, but be aware that this can have undesired effects. For example, you might have a report with a formula like this one. If you delete all datasets, the range name st underscore sales will no longer exist, so this formula will return an error. If you have used Stat Tools, you might have noticed that it usually remembers the settings in its dialog boxes for the various analyses. For example, it remembers which variables you used in the last regression analysis and which graphs you requested. Here is an example. I used these variables and requested this graph. The clear dialog memory clears this memory. Now it doesn't have anything checked, so it essentially lets you start over.